Okay, the next question we had was about internationalization and localization. A lot of our students are all across the world, and how do we support something on that scale? Okay, sure. So it's actually not that hard. The hardest part is doing the translation. There's a package you can use called GetText, and this is built into Python and, and most major languages. And basically what you do is in your templates, you, you either put all of your strings in one place, in one module, and in your templates, and in that module you, um, I think in Python, it's, it's the function that we use is, it looks like an underscore, and you just put all your strings inside this underscore function. And then you just have a separate file that's a, a database of all of the, you know, for in our case, English language strings to whatever language, and then your website just kind of works. And well, you basically say, here's the language I want to use, here's where I store all my, my translation files, and then everything will just kind of translate on its own. So basically, Google for get text, get text Python, mm -hmm. and you'll see a whole bunch of information on how to. Yeah. We'll include, and we'll include some links on that in the office hours instructor comments just to help you guys out. Great, great. Yeah. That's why I see you. Yeah. <laughs>